Like many Canadians, living through COVID-19 over a very long year made me step back and reflect on what matters to me most. It was quite simple. Two things, my kids and climate change. That is Liberal MP and Minister of Infrastructure Catherine McKenna announcing today she's leaving politics. McKenna was also Environment Minister. She handled the Trudeau government's National Climate Action Plan, including imposing a price on carbon emissions. David Aiken is with me from Ottawa. David, most MPs never make it into Cabinet. McKenna had a seat at the table since she got elected six years ago. What more did she say about why she's giving it up? Oh, it was definitely the kids, Donna. She came back to that time and time again. Three school-aged daughters, one about to go to university. I don't have many years left with them at home. And I want to spend more time with them. McKenna also resisted any suggestion she had to leave the Trudeau cabinet to better focus on fighting climate change. 100% no. McKenna is also one of a handful of female parliamentarians that has withstood a tremendous amount of gender-specific abuse, both on social media, but also from fellow parliamentarians. Former Conservative MP Jerry Ritz once called her climate Barbie. That was a phrase that Ritz picked up from far-right websites. Ritz would apologize, but the abuse would continue and even resulted in vandals attacking McKenna's office. That's just noise. The people want you to stop doing what you're doing. They want you to back down. And guess what? We didn't back down on price on pollution. We doubled down. McKenna was adamant she was not being bullied out of politics and, in fact, urged more women and girls to run for office. Do it. And when you do it, don't be afraid to run like a girl. And I'll be there cheering you on. Still, the experience McKenna and others have had can be a significant barrier for women considering entry into politics. In her press conference today, she encouraged young women and girls to get involved in politics. And I agree, they should be there and they should take up space. But we need political parties and others in the political community to ensure that they're safe at work. Otherwise, they won't stay. Now, McKenna is not stepping aside as infrastructure minister. She's offered to stay on in that role so long as Prime Minister Trudeau wants to keep her in that job, or at least until the 44th general election. Donna? David, there's this lingering question that former bank governor Mark Carney might need a riding to run in, and McKenna's is it. Is there anything concrete to back that up? Well, there certainly are a lot of liberals who would like to see Mark Carney run uh, somewhere in Ottawa. But to be honest, uh, we're not even clear if Carney himself wants to run. And Carney wasn't speaking to reporters today. In any event, McKenna's riding of Ottawa Centre has some pretty deep NDP roots. It leans to the left. Uh, it's Ed Broadbent's old riding, for example. And McKenna herself had to unseat a very popular New Democrat incumbent when she first won in 2015. And one more thing, the provincial riding of Ottawa Centre, which happens to be the riding that the Parliament buildings are in, it's also NDP. So uh, the fact that McKenna will not be on the ballot definitely puts this riding into play. And I can tell you, the NDP is already scheming to retake it. Donna? Okay, David, thanks.